Why would you give a bloke your number if you're not interested? To this day, I do not know what this guy was trying to send me. Here we go. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. everybody, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another vegan mukbang. Today's video, I'm going to be eating some mala fire noodles. This is another one of those fire noodle noodles, uh, but a different kind. And I think they're a little bit less spicy than the ones I had last time. Oh my god. Just to tell you, this is not a challenge video. I actually want to enjoy these noodles, so I did add a little bit more water than I think you're supposed to so that it dilutes the spice a little bit this is the famous like fire noodle challenge noodles but these are the mala fire noodles I'm not sure how they will taste I have never tried it before but I'm excited I'm nervous there's many emotions going through me at this moment I also have some veggie bacon vegan bacon on the side here in case I'm still hungry I have some rice here with a little bit of soy sauce a little bit of sesame oil and I mixed it together I topped it with some toasted sesame seeds and then I have another side of vegan bacon so we have got some noodles here we have some rice we have some vegan bacon I am about to devour this food and I'm also going to tell you guys a little bit of a story once again this is another story time mukbang so I hope you guys are excited get some food get a drink whatever chillax let's eat let's talk so first let me taste test these noodles which I am so afraid of right now so the last time I ate these noodles uh, I had the two times spicy uh, noodles. I don't know what they're called. Double the spicy, like nuclear fire noodles. And I almost died. <laughs> oh my god, it's so spicy. Oh. oh my god. So I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. But this one apparently is really tasty. It's not as spicy. So let's try it. First of all, the veggie bacon is pretty good. Um, it definitely is spicy. Oh, it's spicy. <laughs> but it's not like, oh my god, I'm gonna die spicy. Mm. I'm scared though. I feel it's, it's, it's gonna build up. Whew. Today's story time. You know what, I'm gonna grab some water. Okay, I got some water. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I don't have almond milk or anything, so. I mean, so far it's okay. I hope I'm able to tell this story while I'm eating. <laughs> Anyways, today I wanna to tell the story of um, this incident that I had when I lived in London. If you guys wanna see my previous story times of like my shady landlord situation, how my landlord went to jail, all that crazy stuff, I'll leave the links to the last two mukbangs I did before, last two story time mukbangs I did. Oh my God. Oh, guys, this is spicy. It's spicier than I imagined it would be. Maybe I'll dilute it with water. Whew. So yeah, if you don't know, I used to live in London. So I lived in London for two years and there were many happenings while I lived in London. And this story is one of the happenings and it's quite entertaining, which is why I want to tell it. It's about this dude that hit on me on the street. I'll just tell you the story. So, but the thing is, this story doesn't really make me look too good. So whatever. Keep in mind, I was much younger, and um, I'm not perfect, guys. I'm a human being, you know. Oh my god, this is spicy. Mm. 
It is yummy though. And the veggie bacon. Really good shout. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this story begins in my first home in London. So I was living in London in an area called Shepherd's Bush, okay? I remember this day. I had gotten off work. I was really tired. I wanted to go home, chillax, you know, just wanted to chill. So I'd gotten off the tube and there's this big high road, okay, in Shepherd's Bush. I think it's called Uxbridge Road. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think so. There's a big high road where there's like a bunch of little shops and there's bus stops everywhere and there's just a lot of people, a lot of traffic. It's London, you know? So I have to walk about 15 to 20 minutes along that high road to get to my home. So I'm walking, right? And I'm just like wanting to get home and I'm probably walking pretty fast at this point. And this random dude just comes up to me and he goes, excuse me, miss, do you know if this bus over there goes to so-and-so? So he like points to some bus stop that's like a little bit further ahead and he asks me if this bus goes to wherever he was going, okay? Now, I don't wanna sound super um, conceited or something, but you know when you have this feeling like, hmm, is this guy talking to me to simply ask me an innocent question? Or is he just trying to start conversation, right, you know? I was almost sure that he was trying to start conversation. I mean, I clearly did not look like I was from there. I don't know, I just, I don't know. But. Of course, I'm not gonna be like, excuse me, sir, please don't talk to me. So, of course, I was being nice. I was, you know, perfectly polite. And I was like, I'm not from here. Like, I just moved here, so I don't really know. Um, but good luck. <laughs> and then the guy, oh my god, you guys, I'm scared to eat this. Ugh. Mm. And of course, unsurprisingly, he starts being like, oh, hey, so, like, where are you from? Like, Blah, 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 blah. You know, starting conversation as I kind of thought would happen. Mm. Mm -hmm. This actually real good. I'm impressed. So I'm walking toward my destination. And this guy, because he like pointed at the bus stop ahead of my destination, he starts like walking with me and like asking me all kinds of questions, like small talk, small talk, small talk, you know? It's totally fine. It's not like I like mind talking to a stranger for a few minutes. Like I really, I enjoy it, you know? It's nice. But when I felt like he kind of had an agenda, like he wanted to like, I don't know. I don't know. He wanted to, he was hitting on me. Okay, I felt like he was hitting on me or something. So it was a little bit uncomfortable because I was not interested. But because he's just making small talk, I'm not going to be like, excuse me, I am not interested. So I'm just going to keep talking to this guy, you know? So then, you know, we're just talking stupid stuff like, oh, like, where are you from? Like, oh, like, I'm a fitness trainer, blah, blah, blah. What do you do? Blah, 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 blah. So the entire time, which was probably only like five to 10 minutes, it felt like a very long time. And I was just waiting for this bus stop. Okay, I am tired. I just want to get home and chillax. I don't want to make small talk with some stranger that's probably hitting on me. Like, I feel uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? So I am just walking and I'm just waiting for this bus stop to come. And then he said something like, Oh, I'm sorry that I'm just like talking to you like randomly. It's because, you know, we're just walking the same direction anyway. So, you know, we might as well have a conversation. I'm just like, okay then. Oh, this is hot. This is more like a water mukbang. I just keep drinking water. So we're talking. Okay, where is this bus stop? Why is this bus stop not coming? And I finally see, in the corner of my eye, I see the bus stop. I was like, oh my gosh, there is the bus stop. So I looked at him and I go, look, there's your bus stop. Okay, here it is. Okay, good luck, bye-bye. Okay, have a good night, ha <laughs> bye. That was me. Hmm. So then, <laughs> the guy was like, kind of like, oh, uh, Oh, okay, 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 so, uh, bye. Clearly he like wanted to say more, but I was like trying to like escape. So I kind of like rushed my goodbye. I was just like, I didn't really give him a chance to be like, oh, well, like it was nice to meet you. You know, I was just like, oh, here's your bus stop, okay, bye. In a nicer way, guys, obviously. I wasn't like super rude, okay? But I just wanted to like kind of get away from that situation. So then I thought, oh, okay, good. You know, he's gone his way. I'm going my way. Everything's wonderful. It's fine. And I just walk along. And I was probably like speed walking a little bit. I'm being over dramatic, but you know what I mean. So I start walking away. I say bye bye. I'm walking away. And then about 10 seconds later, maybe 20 seconds, I hear 
someone like running up to me and being like, hey, excuse me, hey. And I was like, oh God, it's him. <laughs> so of course it was him, okay? It was him. He ran back to me, despite me trying to brush him off. This is actually good. So good. Mm. He ran back to me. He like taps on my shoulder. He's like, hey. Huh. I was like, uh -huh, hi. And then he's like, he's like, oh, listen, you know, it's not really like me. Like, I don't normally do things like this. Like pick up someone on the street. I apologize for my accent, by the way. <laughs> okay. It's not normally like me to just randomly pick up women on the street, but you know, I just felt like we had such a good talk and you know, I really just wanna keep talking to you and getting to know you better and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, dude, we just talked about our jobs. Like it was not interesting. Like, I am sorry. I have many interesting conversations in my life and that was not one of those interesting conversations. It was not an interesting conversation. It was all small talk, small talk, small talk. Okay. It was boring to say the least. It did not spark my interest at all so <laughs> i was like huh okay and then he's like yeah i really enjoyed a talk you know i really would would like to see you again and i'm very like awkward okay i'm an awkward human being especially at that time i was even more awkward as in like i'm awkward in that kind of situation where i feel the need to like reject someone or i have to reject someone it's so awkward i hate doing it oh <gasps> it's hot yeah it's awkward it's super awkward to like look at someone and say like, hey, I'm not interested. I don't know why it's so hard, but it just is. So I felt really awkward. I'm just like probably awkwardly like, huh, huh. And then he's like, yeah, like, can I get your number so we can like do this again? And <laughs> this is where I make my first mistake. And this is where it looks pretty bad on my part. I did this thing where I, you know, instead of telling him, like a mature adult, instead of telling him, hey, listen, I'm not really interested, but you know, Thank you and have a good day, you know? <laughs> instead of saying something like that, which would have been probably really easy, I instead decided to uh, give him my number and then just ignore him afterwards. <laughs> I know, I'm not a nice person. I know it's bad. I shouldn't have done it, but I felt really weird. Like, I didn't know how to get rid of him. And some people might be thinking, like, why don't you just give him your fake number? But honey, haven't you ever given someone your number and then they, like, call you right away, like, on the spot to, like, see if it's a fake number? I don't know. Like, that has happened to me before, so I have anxiety, so I would not give someone a fake number. I feel like that's even worse than, like, giving someone your real number and then ignoring them. A fake number is just worse. Huh. <sighs> Either way, I know I made a mistake. I should not have given him my number when I was not interested. My solution was to give him my number and then just not respond and then he will get the message and everything will be fine and everything will be great. <laughs> I gave him my number, I got home. Maybe like an hour later he texted me saying something like, oh, you know, like I want to see you again. Like, blah, blah, blah. And then I ignored it. And then I made colossal mistake number two. I did not save his number as do not answer. So I forgot to save his number. Did not save it because I didn't think that he would contact me again after I ignored him. And I just went about my day, I went about my life. I don't think he contacted me the next day. So I, I just like forgot about it. I just assumed he had forgotten about it. Everything was fine and dandy and my plan worked and everything was great. But <laughs> everything was not, not great. A couple days after that, I was at work. And at the time I was working in recruitment. So I worked at a recruitment office. It was a very, very small company, about 10 people. It was a very small office. And I directly worked with candidates. So people that were looking for jobs, I would talk to them and I would give them my, my cell phone number in case they needed to call me in different times, like whatever. So I was just talking to this guy that was a candidate of mine about a job. And I had just given him my cell phone number to call me to discuss the job. So I was sitting in my office, right? And I'm sitting in this desk and right next to me, my manager sits. We're all in this like very close proximity office. It's a very small office. Everyone can hear your phone conversations, everything. So I'm sitting there and uh, my phone rings, my cell phone rings. Mm. Mm. And of course, I am automatically think 
that must be my candidate because it's a number that I don't recognize and I just given my candidate my phone number so it must be my candidate so I pick up the phone it's a British dude and my candidate was a British dude it was a British accent it was a dude I was like hello the guy goes hi uh, is this Rose and then I was like yes yes he's like are you busy I was like no I'm not busy I'm not busy I'm not busy at all I can talk I can talk <laughs> and then the guy goes it's uh, so and so from the street let's call him Joe Let's call him Joe. It's Joe from the street. I met you on the street the other day. And I was like, oh my god. And I had like a panic moment. Because <laughs> I was like, ah! I did not know it was him. I just told him I was not busy. And, and I panicked. So I was like, oh my god, I really don't want to talk to this guy. I panicked. And then I said, oh, actually, actually, I'm really, really busy right now. I actually, I, I have to go. I have to go. And then I hung up on him. I know. I'm so mean. I, I'm such a bitch. <laughs> It was pure impulse, okay? I just freaked out and then I hung up on him. <laughs> I told him I was busy when I just said I wasn't busy. <laughs> so I hung up the phone and of course, everyone just heard this conversation, me being like all panicky. So my manager looks at me and he goes, what was that? <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. And this office was kind of weird. Like everyone just like knew things about everyone's lives, like, everyone's social lives. Like all the colleagues like knew everything about it was just it was just not a good environment anyway because we were all quite open about our social lives or whatever i just kind of told him i was like this will happen i met this guy on the street gave him my number i wasn't interested blah 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 and then my manager looks at me he's like this middle-aged dude he looks at me he goes why would you give a bloke your number if you're not interested and then he just like went off on a tangent about how women should not lead men on like this and i mean i agree okay i shouldn't have done that again i, I agree anyways <laughs> So yeah, we had that conversation. And then, at this point, because this guy had called me, Joe, did we name him Joe? Yeah, because he had called me. I saved his number as do not answer. Finally, finally learned my lesson and I saved his number as do not answer. That is not the end of the story, my friends. So then, I saved his number. I now know not to answer this call. And, oh, just a side note as well. This guy added me on Facebook, okay? I was like, how did he find my Facebook? I only talked to him for like five minutes on the street, outside. How did he find my Facebook? And this is when I found out that you can search someone via their phone number. If you've ever entered your phone number into Facebook for whatever reason, because they always ask you to enter your phone number, it's so annoying. If you've ever entered your phone number, chances are someone can search you just by entering in your phone number. So he pretty much entered in my phone number and tried to add me on Facebook. Of course, I did not add him, but yeah, just a side note. That is what happened. So then I saved his number, do not answer, blah, 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 blah. And that evening he called me like two times or something like that. And I did not pick up. I just ignored him. And then the next day he sent me an MMS message, a multimedia message. Luckily for me at the time, my phone could not accept multimedia messages. My plan did not allow for like image messaging or anything like that. So I could not open this message. All it said was that I received an MMS message, which I cannot open. Lord knows what it was, okay? Who knows, right? I do not want to know. To this day, I do not know what this guy was trying to send me. Once I received that message, I texted him finally which I know, I know, I should have done it earlier, whatever. Finally texted him and I said, listen, I'm really not interested. Can you please stop contacting me? That's what I said, something like that. And then he responds with this, why? <laughs> no punctuation, just W-H-Y, why? And then of course, I just ignore it because I'm like, I've already told you, so please go away. I do not have to justify you with an answer. And then I ignored him and then he contacted me at least two or three more times after that he tried to call me again Finally, he stopped. Okay. He finally gave up stopped trying to contact me And then I thought okay, this is the end of it all forgot about it and I moved on with my life I even moved to a new apartment at this point and everything was fine and dandy and one day I still remember this day I believe I was out with Chrissy and Daniel. We were out in in uh, Shoreditch and I think we were having coffee or something and I randomly get this random phone call from this random number and I pick up this phone Okay, I pick up this phone in time for a bite Hmm mm. This is such a good combination. 
I feel like the rice helps offset the spice. But yeah, these mala noodles are pretty good. Like, they're not that spicy. Manageable. So I pick up the phone, people. I pick up the phone. It's a random number. I don't know this number. I'm just mixing the rice with the rest of the sauce that's left over. Whew. Pick up this phone. And it's a woman. <laughs> I say hello. And the woman goes, sorry to bother you, but I found your number on my boyfriend's phone. My boyfriend's phone. And of course, I knew instantly. I knew who this was. I knew instantly who this was. I was like, is your boyfriend's name Joe? And she's like, yeah. Has he tried to contact you? Have you been meeting up? I was like, this poor girl too. She was perfectly nice, okay? I just told her, I was like, listen, I met him on the street. I did not know he had a girlfriend. I never met up with him. He, he kept trying to contact me. But I did not meet up with him, I promise. And then I just said like, I'm sorry. And I didn't mean like, I'm sorry as in like, I did anything wrong. I meant like, I'm sorry as in, I'm sorry for your situation. Oh, and then she's like, he tried to add you on Facebook too, didn't he? And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> this is not happening right now. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, son of a bee was trying to hit on me the entire time when he had a girlfriend. Not just trying to hit on me, but like, Calling me multiple times. How do you even have the energy to do that in the first place when you already have a girlfriend? Like, <sighs> that's my story. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, that was so good. I could totally eat another one of these. Let me get some more water. So yes, my friends, the entire time this guy was trying to text me, call me, send me multimedia messages, add me on Facebook, trying to get me to go out with him, the entire time this guy had a girlfriend. At least hide your traces, buddy. Like, seriously. And I love how he said, like, oh, I don't normally pick up women on the street. Really? Really? Uh-huh. So yeah, after that, I didn't feel so bad about giving you my number. <laughs> Um, uh, hopefully they broke up. I have no idea what happened with them. But yeah, that is my story of the random man that hit on me on the street in London. <laughs> um, I'm sure there are more stories to come, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. My tongue is kind of burning right now. Not gonna lie. Ooh, it's kind of burning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!